Sergeant Rivers, it's time. I want you to take a team of my soldiers and fight your way to Skynet's defense grid. We have to destroy those turrets to get to the TDE, but don't worry. We'll provide the support. It's in your hands now, Rivers. Follow me. Commander. Commander.
Another sector cleared. That's good to hear, Sergeant. The HK tank just went online. You've got to keep going. Seven ahead! Two of them! Sergeant, I got a visual on the defense grid turrets. Commander. Good. That HK will accompany you. Proceed forward. Remember, this is not over yet. Check your fire! That tank is ours!
side that's trying to activate the time displacement equipment. They know they're going to lose this war. You need to hurry! Everyone, on me! This is it! That's the lab they keep the time displacement thing! Spread out! What's going on? The 124 destroyed the central core and stopped Skynet. So is the war over? For some of us, yes. But just before we destroyed the core, Skynet managed to send three Terminators back in time. The only thing in our power now is to send the Protectors to meet them. Protectors? The ones that will assure the safety of the people marked for termination. The first Protector has to be Sergeant Kyle Reese. He'll go after the T-800 that's targeting my mother as we speak. 
by killing her, Skynet will try to erase me from ever existing. The second one will seek to destroy the T-1000. T-1000? A Terminator made of mimetic polyalloy, sent back to kill me as a child. A single prototype, created by Skynet. It's too powerful for a single human being. That's why we'll have to send a Terminator of our own. Do you have that CPU that Mac reprogrammed? No, I don't. You don't? Then we've got a problem. I don't believe any of our soldiers are capable of stopping the T-1000. We'll have to find another way, and we have to do it soon. Then, there's the matter of the infiltrator that was sent after you. The war can end for you right now, but the question is, are you willing to sacrifice your future to protect your past? By being here, you've already proven that this is not beyond your capabilities. But I'll leave the decision up to you. Will I be able to fix my past mistakes? I always believe that the future's not set. There's no fate but what we make for ourselves. You do have the power to change it, and protect the ones you care about. So, what will it be then? I'll do it. I'll go back. I knew you would. Until I would get killed this time around. Let us begin then. John Connor prepared the time displacement equipment to send protectors back in time. He knew that the final battle would not be fought here, but in the past. A resistance soldier named Kyle Reese was the first man to go back, to 1984. His objective was to protect Sarah Connor, John's mother. There was no way a human could stand up against the more advanced T-1000. But without Dr. Mack to reprogram an infiltrator CPU, Connor would be forced to find another way to get a machine on our side. I couldn't have someone risk their life to protect me. That's why I decided to go myself. It gave me a chance to right the wrongs of my actions. After 30 years, this war against the machines is finally over. But not all of us live to see the end of it. We never found Baron's body in the shelter. She never stopped fighting. And if she's still alive, I doubt she ever will. She was the leader we needed in wartime. But I'm not sure if she'll find a place during this time of peace. Erin died in that shelter. She believed that her work was helping win the war, and she was right. I hope now she can finally rest. Ryan stayed in the shelter and died. He was a good man, with a good heart. Jennifer and Patrick died at the hands of Terminators in the shelter. I wish there was something I could have done to make them leave. Baron asked me to kill Mac, but I couldn't do it. He left soon after my warning, only to be captured by Skynet. We found him alive in one of Skynet's prisons. And as for me, it was time to start over. Listen to me if you want to live. <laughs> 